hi guys recently i made a video about how we can create a post slider without any plugin in elementor but this only works with the default post of elementor so in this tutorial i will show you how we can turn anything into slider like this one as you can see we have four column in here i will create a slider from this i will also show you how we can make slider from custom post using the ele custom skin plugin so let's get started so first of all in here as you can see we have four column in here and its column has an icon a heading and some text so i want each of this column will turn into a slider so how we can do that so first of all let's uh, copy the code we, i have used in my previous video post slider so let's copy the security in here paste it let's save this and for css let's uh, copy the css from here as well and in here so let's save this so now our code is ready so let's give the section this section a class name let's call it slider call maybe you can call it anything you want and I'm giving this class to this and let's save this and now if we inspect our element with inspector as you can see so this is our four column as you can see this four column will turn into slide so each column will be a slide so we need to target these three element elementor container elementor row and elementor column okay so remember you have to target these three element and this should be one by one right elementor container row and column so this will be our slide this will be our wrapper and this will be our container right and this is our section we have called sl slider call so let's target this slider call in here let's copy this and let's replace this post slide with slider call and now this elementor wizard container we need to replace this with this one elementor container okay so let's copy this elementor container and replace in here so this will be our container sweeper container but in elementor elementor use this elementor container many places so that can be inside this element as well so we need to specifically target this one so how we can target this we can simply just put this arrow sign so this means only select elementor container just next to slider call okay so we need to put this in here so let's copy this and replace the whole thing from here and inside elementor container we need to target this elementor row so copy this elementor row for sweeper wrapper so put a little arrow in here and place elementor row okay so for sweeper wrapper we will select elementor row that will be just next to elementor container and for the slide our class is elementor column so let's target this elementor column so if this could be anything see this elementor column will be the main slide okay so if your div or whatever class is different put that class in here so in here let's replace this to elementor column and also replace this post slide with our class of our section so slide call elementor column so let's save this so now if we refresh as you can see our slide is working perfectly okay so let's make it three slide button so in here we have responsive options so in here larger than 1024 we want three slide so let's save this Let's refresh as you can see now we have three slide so some of you may experience that uh, all of the slides showing in on column okay 
this may be happen in some cases so in that case set this flex wrap to unset maybe unset and make it important so if you see everything in on columns you can set this and check if it fix your problem so now i will show you how we can turn any custom post into slider so i have made a custom post with yearly custom skin like this this is a custom post as you can see and in this page i am showing the custom post as you can see in here let me just redo it so insert the post widget in here and in skin we will choose custom and choose the skin we have created so i have a tutorial about this so you can follow that and in our case to make it slide make sure the column is one column and on the style tab make sure the column gap is zero row gap is zero because we will set this gap within our slider jquery save this so now everything is looking like this select this section inside our uh, post and add a class in here so in our case let's call it post slider and if we inspect our post slider now as we can see each of our article is a slide but our section is way top of our article right so we need as i mentioned in previous we need three div one by one so this one this one and this slide one right but our section is way above in here so how we can apply this first of all let's in here let's replace this slider call with post slider this was our class so let's first of all replace this with this okay so now you cannot use this one because this is way lower than our previous example so how we can select this this one so we have to select element widget container so we cannot just select directly in here because each of our article also have element or widget container somehow in here so how we can target that we have to target this top one so this top div has a class called maybe this one element or widget posts so we have to target this one so let's copy this element or widgets post so just after the class of our section insert this element or widget posts so now after the post we will have a div called element or widget container so now let's replace this container with element or widget container delete this so this element widget container will have a class called sweeper container okay. you have to target this one this one then this one and then finally the slide one okay so this one has element widget container on top of this we will target this one element widget post to be more specific okay, okay perfect so now let's target this one sorry this one this one called element posts container I'm just copying this one now put an arrow in here and copy this elementor post container and put it in here and lastly we will target this article you can just target by article or elementor dash post so let's target this elementor dash post here now let's save this and let's refresh if it changes anything now as you can see our custom post is a slider so this is how we can create custom slider with anything